Hello, it's me here again. I'm here to do a quick tutorial on the um, configuration of the uh, controller for the RMC, the data video RM RMC. And this is basically the, uh, the way you set up the IP addresses for both the controller and for the ATEM. Um, the controller needs to know where to find the ATEM. It's not as though we're setting up the actual IP address of the ATEM. We're just telling the controller where to find the ATEM. Now, the way it works, um, you, you can actually uh, access the configuration from just about any mode within the operation. We're using a knob here, and uh, that knob we can rotate left and right, but we can also push the button in. So rotating left and right will change the values and pushing the button in will allow you to um, select um, whatever menu item we're on. The button itself can operate using a quick push, which is push done, or a long push, which is push done. Now, a long push generally is an abort or, or enter. Um, there is also the ability to be able to detect a button push and a um, a rotation of, of the knob as well. That, uh, in some cases, especially in the opening, is designed to use be used for um, resetting the the controller. And I'll give you an example of that. It's a bit dark. I'll come back here a bit. So if I actually um, push and hold, it's now um, going to reset. And there it is now resetting. You'll see the RMC uh, has. Um, decided that it's lost control connection so it and now it's restarted uh, we've restarted down here again um, and that's just simply by just pushing um, turning and then pushing oh, there you go and um, there it is now it's now reset and um, ready to go again so basically what we want to do here is we want to change the IP address um, in the settings and that so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the button once short quick push we go into the configuration manager now once we're in the configuration manager we can turn the knob to select what menu item we want uh, we're going to be adjusting uh, or setting up um, local and uh, ATEM IP addresses it's just turning backwards um, a little later on in a video the next video will probably I'll show you how to do the setting up the uh, cross points um, the ATEM to uh, input um, cross points or allocations on the um, RMC uh, but for the moment we're just going to stick with doing the uh, doing the IP addresses uh, so we're just going to scroll back to um, the ATEM so ATEM IP address so we need to tell the box where to find the ATEM on the network so uh, we're going to do um, again a quick push and what it does it shows you the uh, current IP address where it's looking for an ATEM and you can see here is there's the four IP addresses the A means it's the, a, the um, ATEM um, if it's a P it means it's the local IP or the panel um, now if you just wanted to quickly just check what your IP address is you can then uh, once entering this mode just hold the button down for a moment and release which will um, abort and now we've just gone back back out to um, selecting which item we need to um, adjust. If you want to come out of um, the basic uh, first menu we just again hold the button for a moment and let go and then it just returns back to whatever last screen was that we had here and the screen will be very, it could be various depending on what mode you enter into the configuration from. But again we're going to go back into setting, going into configuration mode, quick push, configuration manager comes up, we're going to scroll to the ATM IP uh, location we're going to hit the button again quickly there there's the values as we showed you before but now we're going to go in and change those values so we're going to quick push the button again and now you can see that the that A is now turned into an adjust symbol or right hand arrow and it's now flashing the first digit so we can actually turn the turn the knob uh, which will increase and decrease it uh, accordingly um, if you want to just leave it as it is, you just hit uh, push the button quickly once and it'll then step to the next one. Uh, we can then press it again quickly, step to the next one. 
uh, and of course you want to go to the fourth one we'll quickly um, now I'm going to change that to 141 which is uh, there is no ATEM on my um, on that IP address so once I've done that I'm just going to quickly hit the button again it's now um, going to come out of um, the IP um, setup address and um, it's now saved that so that it's um, if it powers down it'll um, it'll remember that now because I've changed the IP address I'm going to come out of this quick uh, sorry a, a abort by shot the slow push Oh, I didn't do a slow push. You can come out of that by slow push, slow push, aborted. Now you can see it's saying that it's lost the ATM because we've changed the IP address, obviously. Um, but that doesn't stop you from going back and changing again. So while it's looking looking for a response, it's giving you a progress down here. It's um, it's not going to find it because we've changed the IP address. If I now just quick push again, we go into the configuration manager scroll to the ATEM location IP location uh, quick push that's what we've got and we can see down here that's wrong we're going to change that to 240 quick push again I'm just going to push until we get down to the fourth byte and change that back to 240 hit enter um, abort slow push and now you can see it's reconnected and we're all back to normal so um, that's just the uh, quick way of doing, changing the um, ATEM IP address you, of course you can do the same with the local IP or the, the panel the control panel here the um, controller that, um, that IP address um, you know, can be anything that's not already allocated to something else um, and, um, and it changes the same way so we're just going to go and select um, the local IP address, click it again, you can then quickly check it, you can see this is set to the first three numbers are the same as the ATM and of course this is a unique value for this particular controller and of course we can um, just abort out of there by slow push um, or um, we can select it again and then quick push to go in and change those values now something I didn't show you before is that um, at any time during these changing these values um, you don't have to go to the end, you can actually just do a slow push and it will abort and come back out and then we can then abort out of that as well. Incidentally when you're on the very first menu item um, which is that one telling you what to do, just a single quick push will get you out, back out of that and, um, and there we all go, reconnecting and um, very shortly I'll be putting up the tutorial on uh, changing the uh, cross points allocations uh, on here. If I can make this thing focus, I'll be even happier. Um, okay, I guess it's just not going to do it. Um, anyhow, uh, basically what, we'll, what uh, you can do is you can allocate any ATEM cross point to any of the eight available button selects on program and preview. That would hopefully be in focus when I do that one. Okay, thank you.